If you're planning a trip to Seoul here in the beautiful country of South Korea, then this video will be useful for you. I just got back from a week-long trip to Seoul and during my time I had loads of fun experiences and I got to visit some amazing and unforgettable places too. So in this video I will highlight a few of my favourites so that you can get an idea of some of the fun things to see and do on your next trip to Seoul. First, let's talk about the beautiful canal that runs through downtown. Completed in 2005, this man-made canal flows almost 11 kilometers straight through the city and doubles as a fantastic way of getting around the city center. He just caught a fish. We use this canal multiple times a day and it makes walking through Seoul not just quick and easy, but it's also really beautiful and a great place to have a snack, take in the sights and even see some of the wildlife who call this huge inner city home. It's even more gorgeous at night and it makes walking home from a street food market or even a night on the bars all that more fun. And if you're lucky, you'll get to listen to some world-class street performers and soak up a truly magical experience. Built in 1395, this palace is very unique for two reasons. Firstly, it's the largest palace in the city and the gorgeous grounds and the gardens create a great place to escape the noisy city for a few hours. The second unique thing about this palace, and something you'll notice straight away, is that it's very common to dress up in traditional Korean royal clothing and explore the grounds dressed in colorful and flamboyant clothes. The things you do when you have an Asian girlfriend. I had to swallow a lot of my manlyhood getting that dressed, dressed up in there. You know, all the girls are getting their hair done, they're getting bracelets put in, they're all trying on different dresses. I felt like I was in a girl's changing room and it was very awkward. But um, you know, my girlfriend wants to take nice pictures and she's been at the salon this morning getting her hair done. And I said, she said, are you going to get changed? And I said, do you want me to get changed? And she said, yes which means sometimes you have to swallow, swallow your pride and make your girlfriend happy. So you can take nice pictures. Oh! -ho. <laughs> Those who dress up actually get free entry into the palace, so locals and tourists alike all seem to enjoy getting into the spirit and take the opportunity to take beautiful photos in a gorgeous setting and create some awesome memories. Next up is the Nam San Tower. You'll see this from all over the city. It sits atop the small hill in the middle of the town and is easily reached by a cable car. The views on a clear day allow you to gaze over the entire city with 360 views and with restaurants and a few bars, it's a great place to relax and grab lunch with a view. Next up, we're getting stuck into the Korean street food scene here in Seoul. I'll share some of the most unique dishes I tried now, but first, let me just quickly direct you to my favorite spot and somewhere you have to visit, guys, and that is Gwangjang Market. I made an entire video here, so you can watch that by clicking the link, which is just below the subscribe button. And in that, you'll see all of the most famous and delicious dishes that I ate in the market, which were by far the best dishes I ate during our entire trip in Korea. From knife cut noodle soups, to dumplings, to bimibap, the Gwangjang market has so much to offer, so make sure to save that one right now. If you need directions for the market or any of the places in this video, just check the description I have them all saved there for you. This chicken skewer, not only is it really, really spicy, but there's two quite funny things about this dining experience on the streets in Seoul. The first one is you have to eat next to this cardboard because the cardboard catches all the uh, spicy sauce that drips down. So everyone's just standing around letting their 
chicken skewer dip on the floor or onto these cardboard. The second fun thing is once you eat a section of the chicken, watch what happens. You should also check out the Mi Yong Dong market as this place has lots of other fun street foods to try, all very different and all very unique to this city. Next up is the Starfield Library and the Gangnam area. The library is a fun place to grab a coffee, take a few cute photos and just soak up a nice atmosphere. And then just outside of the library is the famous Gangnam area of the city itself. Gangnam really comes alive in the evening, but it's beautiful to explore during the daytime as well. This is funny, they have a, a whole piece of art, a statue dedicated to Gangnam style, the song. <laughs> Overall, Seoul is a fantastic Asian city and somewhere that I thoroughly enjoyed. And so I hope you have a great trip. I have a video coming soon from Busan as well, so subscribe for that one. If you're interested in the city further south, we were actually really surprised how easy it was to get to Busan. And in that video, I'll document the two hour train from Seoul to Busan and all of our experiences there. Thanks for watching the Seoul video, however, and safe travels. And I'll see you again very soon.